I really thought we were going to get universal health care in this country, right? Because I, I was one of those Obama voters in 2008 that thought he was made of magic, right? I didn't, I didn't know he was a human being, right? I thought we were going to get universal health care and 100% employment and free hummus. Like, I, I had dreams. I had dreams. But of course, we weren't going to get universal health care. Right? This country can't handle that. But I thought we'd get the public government option, right? Public plan that would compete against private insurance, lower the cost for everybody. But of course, that wasn't going to happen either. Because when you have a reasonable idea in this country, what happens? It goes through the legislative system. It gets negotiated back and forth. You end up with far less than you wanted. We start out with the public option, went through the system. What do we have now? Like, echinacea prayer and a hug. <laughs> and the Republicans are trying to take the hugs away. They like the prayer, or they love the prayer. <laughs> the public option was derided for being a redistribution of wealth. What are you, communist? What are you, socialist? No, I don't know what those words mean. <laughs> but I hate them. And that's why I wish we started with my health care proposal. Because my health care proposal wasn't about a redistribution of wealth. My health care proposal was about a redistribution of organs. <laughs> from rich to poor, right? And you're thinking, oh, you mean after rich people die, we would take the organs from them. Yes, after rich people die. And after we kill them. <laughs> like a bunch of scalpel-wielding Robin Hoods in the night. You would kill these rich people and take the organs from them. Because there's a lot of poor people who need those organs. For transplants, and of course, for food. <laughs> And as we all know, rich people's organs are a delicacy. <laughs> we would force feed these rich people organic grains, get them all plump and fat, their organs juicy and succulent like foie gras. <laughs> then we'd have them walk around their very large estates. They'd be free range, they'd be free range rich people. <laughs> and very humanely we'd kill them because they're human beings, damn it. Let us not forget that. We'd electrocute their anuses, <laughs> rip out their entrails, and pull out their organs, and we'd feast. We'd eat a little meal I call justice. <laughs> now some of you might be thinking, well, hurry, Kunibolu, that proposal sounds so unreasonable. <laughs> yes. And if we had started with it, we'd have the public option by now. That's all I'm saying. It's a modest proposal. Now, <laughs> you like the Swift material, right? It's good. 